For generations, the skies have echoed with the legacy of Western wisdom, Rolls-Royce engines, the heartbeat of empires and legends etched in steel and power. However, in the shadow of this mighty dynasty, a storm is rising from the east, the CJ-3000 born of relentless ambition and revolutionary design. This engine is more than just a machine. It is a challenge to the sacred throne of Rolls-Royce, a force that could rewrite the destiny of aviation itself. The question is, how will this single engine shake the foundations of a long-standing dynasty? Let's find out. China's drive for aviation self-sufficiency goes beyond industrial. It is a matter of national pride, strategic urgency, and the pursuit of technological sovereignty. For years, Chinese aircraft have used Western-designed engines. Even the Comac C919, hailed as a symbol of China's growing independence, relies on the Leap 1C engine developed through a partnership between General Electric and Safran. For Beijing, this dependence is a clear weakness, despite impressive breakthroughs in airframe design, avionics, and materials, the core of the aircraft, the engine, remains imported. This dependence is not just technical, it also carries profound geopolitical risks. In a world where supply chains are fragile and access to technology can be severed overnight, China's reliance on foreign-made engines has exposed a serious vulnerability. Every flight of the Western-powered C919 is a stark reminder that without mastering jet engine technology, China cannot fully master its aviation future. Determined to change this, China has made aerospace independence a key pillar of its long-term strategy. Since 2016, the government has invested billions of dollars in the Aero Engine Corporation of China, or AECC for short. This initiative brings together the country's top engineers and resources to tackle the most complex challenges in engine development. At research centers spread across Shanghai, Xi'an, and Shenyang, thousands of experts are working on innovations. From advanced turbine blade cooling and single crystal alloys to fine-tuning high-bypass turbofan engines. Thus was born the CJ3000, China's next-generation high-bypass turbofan engine, and the physical embodiment of the country's ambitions. Designed to power the forthcoming C939 wide-body jet, this new engine is not just a technological breakthrough, but also a bold statement. If successful, it will mark the end of China's dependence on Western engines, transforming the country from buyer to rival, from follower to global aviation leader. For China, achieving aviation independence is not just a goal, but a statement. The future of aerospace may no longer be shaped in Derby or Seattle, but in Shanghai. Inside, China's most secure aerospace test facilities, surrounded by the steady hum of turbines, and the fiery glow of molten alloys, a new power is rising. Known as the CJ-3000, what began as a closely guarded AECC secret has transformed into a bold declaration China will no longer be dependent on foreign engines. For years, Chinese airliners from the ARJ-21 to the C919 have relied on Western engines like the CFM Leap 1C and Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 icons of unmatched engineering mastery. But every empire eventually declines, and today a new contender emerges from the East. The engine is far more than an ordinary engine. It's a technological revolution, blending strength precision and clear purpose. Designed to deliver up to 80,000 pounds of thrust, with a bypass ratio near 10 to 1 and an overall pressure ratio approaching 50 to 1, it targets thermal efficiency that rivals Rolls-Royce's cutting-edge Trent XWB and Ultrafan models. So what makes the CJ3000 a credible future rival to Rolls-Royce? If you want to discover more, please support us by liking and subscribing. Built for speed, simplicity and total autonomy, Rather than tradition, it benefits from freedom, where Western manufacturers are burdened by long certification processes and corporate caution.
Chinese engineers are free to innovate boldly. They utilize 3D printed turbine cores, cut the number of parts by nearly 30% speed up assembly, and simplify maintenance. Incorporation of AI-powered cooling optimization enables the engine to adjust dynamically to changing pressures and temperatures. A frontier Rolls-Royce is just beginning to explore in its Ultrafan program. Cost and flexibility tip the scales further. Rolls-Royce engines are masterpieces, but come with substantial price and complexity. The CJ3000 developed from the ground up using digital design and interconnected manufacturing promises to outpace its Western rivals in production costs and operational efficiency. For airlines in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, an engine delivering 90% of the trans performance at 70% of the cost could redefine the market. Strategically, this engine is China's golden key. Rolls-Royce's strength lies in its vast global support network of maintenance certification and international partnerships. Yet for China, that network can become a constraint. Export controls, licensing restrictions, and geopolitical tensions risk cutting off access to vital components. The CJ3000 changes that balance, embodying genuine technological independence, ensuring Chinese commercial and defense aircraft won't be grounded by foreign politics. Even in design philosophy, it may hold an advantage. It's been digitally developed from day one using AI modeling virtual stress simulations and data from earlier projects like the CJ-1000A, AECC engineers can simulate years of engine wear within hours, enabling rapid iterations and real-time integration of field data. Meanwhile, Rolls-Royce, anchored by decades-old systems and design processes, moves deliberately and more slowly. In the race for innovation speed, this new engine is sprinting while others walk. Victory isn't assured overnight. Rolls-Royce's expertise in materials reliability and worldwide certification remains unmatched, but history rewards those willing to break new ground. The CJ3000 hasn't yet conquered the skies, but it has already shattered the notion that China will always be a follower in aviation. China's jet engine marks a bold move to break the Western stronghold on aerospace propulsion. But behind its powerful thrust, lies an immense technical challenge. To truly rival engines like Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB, the world's largest, or GE's GNX, this program must conquer the cutting-edge science of ultra-high temperature materials and master the precision engineering of turbine blades, all while delivering rock-solid reliability at cruising altitudes near 12,000 meters. Every gain in power, noise reduction, and weight savings is a testament to the relentless work being done at AECC. This three-shaft, mixed-flow, mid-bypass turbofan engine is designed to power next-generation supersonic transports with superior thrust. It boasts impressive specs and overall pressure ratio approaching 45 a bypass ratio, around 2.75, during supersonic cruise and fuel efficiency improved by over 8% compared to its predecessor. The CJ3000 incorporates advanced features such as polyamide composite fan blades, titanium front fins, and a direct injection combustion chamber cooled by ceramic matrix composites. The very same pioneering materials found in top Western engines. Meanwhile, Chinese engineers face a dual mission not only to master the complex technology, but also to achieve a symbolic breakthrough. True success would mean breaking free from foreign engine suppliers who have long monopolized key aerospace technologies. Skeptics question whether China can achieve the elusive invisible alchemy of materials, science, and reliability that the West has refined over decades. Failure could entrench strategic vulnerabilities and deepen dependence on foreign powers. At its core, the CJ3000 represents more than engineering. It's a bold declaration of China's resolve to control its own aviation fate. 
Its design process starts digitally leveraging AI modeling, rapid virtual testing, and additive manufacturing to accelerate development far faster than the slower, less flexible methods of Western competitors. This agility paired with the potential for lower production costs is shaking up the aerospace industry and prompting Western firms to fast track their own next generation engines. In short, the CJ3000 is China's audacious bid to reshape the geopolitical landscape of aerospace. Whether it soars as a symbol of true independence or falls short as a costly risk hinges on overcoming one of modern engineering's toughest challenges. The world watches closely as China's new engine pulses like a rising heartbeat, heralding what could be a new chapter in aviation history. China's C-939 and its groundbreaking superjet engine represent more than just new aircraft and technology. They embody a strategic declaration to reshape the global aviation landscape. This ambitious project showcases China's unwavering commitment to aviation independence and its determination to compete far beyond its regional borders. For the first time in history, a wide-body airliner entirely developed in China and powered by a domestically produced engine, promises to fly across continents without leaning on Western propulsion systems. This milestone marks a seismic shift in aerospace dynamics, signaling that China is ready to challenge the long-standing dominance of Western manufacturers and suppliers. The stakes are high for incumbents like Rolls-Royce and other Western engine giants. The emergence of the CJ3000 engine and the C939 program places them at a pivotal crossroads, accelerate innovation aggressively, or risk losing ground in the fast expanding Eastern aviation markets. China's vision is clear. The engine aims to achieve exceptional performance figures that could rival and potentially surpass flagship Western power plants like Boeing's 777X engines and Rolls-Royce's enlightened Trent XWB which power the industry-leading Airbus A350. While the mass production of engines at this scale is still a future milestone for China, the CJ3000 lays the foundation for the C939's long-term potential to reshape international competition. Over the coming decade, the engine could evolve from a symbol of domestic achievement to a highly sought-after export engine. It could power aircraft fleets not only in China, but across Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and other emerging markets, much like how COMAC has steadily built itself into a formidable challenger against aerospace giants, Airbus, and Boeing. Beyond its technological impact, the rise of the C-939 and the modern engine signals a profound geopolitical shift, a redistribution of power within the aerospace sector. By breaking Western dominance over wide-body aircraft engines, China is promoting greater independence in its supply chain and encouraging a more competitive global market. This will inevitably spur Western manufacturers to intensify their development of next-generation engines, boasting higher efficiency, reduced costs, and cutting-edge capabilities. Although the C-939 and CJ-3000 combination remains a future aspiration, rather than a present reality, it clearly reflects China's long-range vision to reshape the global aerospace industry, build economic resilience, and stake its claim as a major force in worldwide aviation. So can Rolls-Royce and its Western peers maintain their footing in this new jet era? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That concludes this exploration. Thanks for watching and see you next time.